my heart hurt because I ain't gonna never see my son no more. Ever. All because of those two people. When 35-year-old Earl Moore Jr. called 911, he was looking for help, but the paramedics who were supposed to care for him are now accused of killing him. We're gonna have an ambulance come check you out, man. Police officers called for that ambulance on December 18th after they were told Moore was hallucinating due to alcohol withdrawal. This is Earl. Body cameras captured Peggy Finley, a paramedic with Lifestar Ambulance Service, entering the room. Just a minute later, when Moore didn't respond, Finley yelled at him. Earl, sit up. She then tried to drag him across the floor. Sit up. Sit up now. She didn't even know Earl, but she act like she knew him calling his name and dragging him like that. You're going to have to walk because we ain't carrying you. So let's let's get up on your feet. Because I am seriously not in the mood for this dumb at one point, an officer appears to notice Finley is agitated. When Moore finally got outside, officers helped another Lifestar paramedic, Peter Cadigan, put him on a stretcher. Cadigan appears to shove Moore back down on his stomach before both paramedics secure the safety straps. That's the part I keep seeing. I keep too. seeing him slam him like that. That's what I keep seeing.